it is it is our job to continue to bring this word out knowing that there is an elect even if we are of the elect right we can spark the mind of the elect that's how this works which we pray that we're of the elect that's why we're the hopeful elect many are called but, but few are chosen man okay and it says thou didst march through the land in indignation thou didst thresh the heathen in anger that went to, so you can see, you can see that this place is at war with China, India. I mean, who else are they at war with? Everybody, man. Name one country that America is not at war with. Man. And that's why you got uh, North Korea, India, right? The state, the state of Israel, right? The actual state of Israel, which is all all basically uh, Amalek outside of the actual children of Israel. You got Ishmael sprinkled up in there. But they have those nuclear weapons so that if any time America comes into that land, they're going to shoot their missiles off, man. That is the ultimate deterrent. That's why nobody has stormed North Korea. Nobody has stormed Iran. They have nuclear capability. Right? See, uh, America understands that. That's why they have to do covert operations. You got Starbucks, McDonald's. That's a damn covert operation. They putting chemicals in the food. How is it you living in, in the Middle East? Right? They got all sorts of fruits, vegetables. You got people with, with, with their stomachs hanging over their belt, man. That is a psych that is a psychological operation. Okay? Democracy, that is a psychological operation, man. You have to understand that. Okay, and it says Thou Slakio, thou went is forth for the salvation of thy people, Israel, even for salvation with thine anointed. Okay, which ultimately goes into the elect. Okay? It says, Thou woundest his Slakia, thou woundest the head out of the house of the wicked by discovering the foundation unto the neck, Salah. Right? So that's why it says in the book of Revelation that that deadly wound was healed. Ultimately, it's the ideology of, uh, of Rome. That's why when you go to school, you're learning about Rome, you're learning about Greece. You're not learning about nowhere else, man, because spiritually this is uh, Egypt, Sodom, Gomorrah, Nineveh, right, Rome, all wrapped up into one. That's why if you go to Washington D.C., you got you got an obelisk, right? You got all you got all this different e Egyptian architecture, Roman architecture. This place is Rome. This place is Rome all over again. Okay, and it says. Right, it says, by discovering the foundation unto the neck. So what's the most crucial part of the body? Your neck, man. All right, if you, if you get stabbed in the neck, you're done. Even if you get stabbed in the head, you might survive, right? You might be a little, you know, might be a little bit slower, but if you get stabbed in the neck, you're through, you're done, okay? And it says, thou didst strike through with his staves the head of his villages. They came out as a whirlwind to scatter me. Their rejoicing was as to devour the poor secretly. So they're not telling you out in the open what they're doing, man. They're gonna slowly implement it. Like I said, this is a psycholo this is a psychological operation. When you turn on your TV, that's a damn psyop. Right? That's why you got that's why you got the women. The women out here, oh man. Women out here going out bad, man. You got uh what what is it? Meg the Stallion, Cardi B winning Grammys. That's how you know this place is done, man. <laughs> how how is a woman how, how is a woman that talks about robbing a man in his sleep supposed to be a uh, woman of the year, man? That's not a good example of a woman. That's how you know that this place is done. And the elder brought up a good point. When she made that uh, performance, she had on that uh, that queen of heaven clothing. Which a lot of, see, the people that are on this sign, you you worship women, man. You are, you are a woman worshiper. And, and see what that has gotten us here in this society, right? Now we get now we got a, a woman VP. That's how you know this place is toast, man. All right, you, hey man, do the spirit. You women ain't supposed to be running nothing except the house when your man ain't at home. You're supposed to tell the kids what to do when your man is not at home, man. That's your job to keep a house up. All right, that's it. Yeah, you wanna go. You wanna go out. That's why it says that it talks about in the scriptures, right? That your feet keep it not right in, in, uh, in your household, so to speak. Right, roughly paraphrasing. Anyways, it says, uh, it says, Thou Slakia, thou didst walk through the sea with thine horses, through the heap of great waters. Woo! 
When I heard, my belly trembled, my lips quivered at the voice. Rottenness entered into my bones, and I trembled in myself that I might rest in the day of trouble. Yeah, so we pray that we're found of the elect. We don't care about what else happens. We don't care. If your woman leaves you, who cares? Your family don't deal with you, who cares? That, none of that matters, man. Ultimately, what matters is the pushing of this word, man. That's it. Now, certain people, right, your family, they may deal with you. Women may deal with you, you know what I mean? Your, kid, your kids may like you. But whether they do or don't, that don't matter, man. Ultimately, you better keep pushing this word, all right? That's what, that's what we're constantly being told. You better keep pushing this word, man. That's it, okay? Why do you think rottenness was entering into Habakkuk's bones? He was scared for the time that's to come. Right? Through the Spirit, we're scared, but we have to have confidence in our Lord, right? That there is a hopeful elect out here. Okay? And it says... Woo! Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. It says, And I trembled in myself, that I might rest in the day of trouble. When he cometh up unto the people, he will invade them with his troops. Woo! So it's going to be UN troops, EU troops, NATO troops. And your ass ain't got that many guns, man. But you, you only got two hands. So you, ultimately, you're going to need the Heavenly Father. That's all you, that's all you got. That is your one saving grace. Hey, hey, man, if the Heavenly Father ain't working with you, you're dead. Kids, kids dead. Your dog's dead. All that, man. All right? Anyways, and, it, and see, ultimately, you believe, right, through your, through your weapons and through your ideology, you're going to make it. <laughs> how, is that, how is that fair for you in this society? Right? Anyway, it says, Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vines, the labor of the olive shall fail, and the fields shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the power of my salvation. So once all this shit comes to an end, it comes to a close, we're going to be thanking the Heavenly Father. Hey, when, when the COV... One nine camera. Hey, all the praise, honor, and glory goes to you. How about How shot for that, man? Are right, you people thought you was, you was just gonna go to college? Bullshit. You women was gonna sleep around? No, man. It's, hey, man. Ultimately, the Lord has other plans for you people. You wanted to plan out your whole life. Okay, I'm gonna go to college here. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. Hell, that's what we did. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. Yet the Lord is gonna have happen what He wants to have happen. This ain't your life, man. This ain't your this ain't your body. That's why he talks about us being a, 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 a living sacrifice. We're supposed to be sacrificing physically, spiritually, emotionally. Hey, just like a wife. Just like a bride, man. A bride, is a bride isn't supposed to have no damn opinion, right? A, a, your woman is supposed to serve you. You're not supposed to be sitting here going back and forth. No, man, that's not how it is. All right, and it's just like us. The Lord doesn't want no contentious brides you don't want to be sitting arguing back and forth with no woman all day she might as well get the hell up out your face that's how the lord feels with his people if you try to come up against the lord he just gonna he just gonna get rid of you it's no re it's just like a, 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 a calamitous woman there's no reason to go back and forth with a calamitous woman it's there's no reason to all right and jake them jake them been there come on now all right hey it's hey i'm gonna get on you the spirit has me getting on you so-called black women also Hey man, you so called you so called black woman, you are you are the worst. Cause you you come in that same you come in that same mindset as Esau Edom. Right? Well we're we're all one. We're all the same. How is it a, a, a woman came and bitch pressed two hundred pounds, yeah, she's supposed to be my equal. That is not no, that's not happening, man. Alright? And, and the more you try to the more you try to defend the uh, uh, equality, oneness, the more divided this place gets, man. Alright? See, because us coming together in this word, we're only getting stronger. The other people are getting weak, man. Okay, and it says, Woo! Oh, here we go. Here we go. It says, The Lord, how about Shimei Shai, is my strength, and he will make my feet like hind's feet, and he will make me to walk upon my high places to the chief singer on my string instruments. Yes, we are like musicians, right? Like the playing of the harp, right? Like the, like the playing, the like of the cymbals. Even if the people don't, even if the people don't like us performing, we have to continue to perform anyways, man. So let's get into the book of Revelation, chapter one, 
And I said I was going to start at verse 7. So I'm going to just look there and see if that's it. All right, so this is the book of Revelation, chapter 1. Hey, which we're living in the time of Revelation. We are living in the time of Revelation. Do we not, are, are we not, are we not seeing rumors of war, war, di uh, earthquakes in diverse places? We had almost, uh, almost a thousand earthquakes today. Tremors, right? That's the Lord saying, get ready, get ready. Yet the people ain't going to mind. That's okay. Because that's what the watchmen are for. We are the spiritual weathermen, okay? Starting off with our elder apostles. So this is the book of Revelation, chapter 1. You know, like I made in the video a, a while ago. This had to be maybe a couple months ago. What is the first thing that's revealed in the book of Revelation? You know, what our, what our Lord looks like, okay? So it says... Revelation 1, and I, I actually, I'm going to start at verse 2. Actually, I'm going to start at, I'm going to start from the top. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. It says, the revelation of Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, which Yahweh gave unto him, to show unto his servants the things which must shortly come to pass. So did he show every damn body? Right? If the Lord showed everybody the secrets that are in this book, you would have everybody prophesying. All right, this is the book of Leviticus, chapter 2, right? They be, <laughs> they be, going, they be going into the high holy days, right? You get 144,000 and one-thirds of Israel, right? The, the people that are on this side, these are the only people that understand this word, okay? And it says, Woo! To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass which says prophecy the word prophecy means to say before okay it says and he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John Yachanan, who bear record of the word of Yahweh Shemayashah and of the testimony of Yahweh Shemayashah right he is salvation right he is the he is the anointed deliverer right Hamashah meaning anointed right Yahweh Shai meaning he is salvation he, he the deliverer. Okay, and it says, Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand. So why do these people got dust on their Bibles? <laughs> yet yet they want to tell us about the Bible. You got your damn mind, man. You want to see you ain't open your you ain't open your Bible since 1988. And now all of a sudden you want to blow the dust off, right? You want to try to get at us in the scriptures. You might just listen. You know what I mean? We weren't bucking up against our elders, right? Hearing this truth, we were like, okay. And also it takes considering and consideration. You can't be uh, inconsiderate in this truth. You have to consider. What if what if what you know is wrong, right? And that there are men on the earth that actually have the proper understanding of the Heavenly Father, man. Let's get the definition for uh, consider or consideration, right? So it says uh, consider... Consider, to think, to ponder, to heed or regard. So in order for you to uh, to consider, you have to take heed or regard to this word, man. Okay? It says, oh, here we go. Oh, judge, believe. So we so we are the judges. Lord's will, we have that number, man. Okay? Hey, and in the kingdom of heaven, all 12 tribes of Israel, right, are going to be judges here upon the earth. Okay, it says, believe, uh, from the etymology, Middle English, from Middle French, consider, from Latin, considerar, from calm, together, All right? So the word calm means together, and then sitter, sidious, meaning heavenly body. All right, so together the heavenly body. So you, so only right the elect can consider that heavenly body. Okay, so it reads. That's why. That's why the people can't understand this word. They don't understand what we're out here for. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, and it reads. Verse four. 
John to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you and peace from him which is and which was and which is to come. So once again, Yahweh, he exists, he to be. Okay? And from the seven spirits which are before his throne, which, which is a complete amount. Okay? Seven goes into completion. All right? Like when you go to, um, when you go to the, uh, uh, not the arcade, when you go to the casino, right? And you hit the slot machine, 777, you good. You get all the money that's up in there, man. Now you may now you may get some you may get some cherries, right? You may get a banana. Okay, that's good or whatever. But we want that seven seven seven. We want that completion. We want the jackpot, man. All right, and, and, and through the spirit, let's get let's get the definition for jackpot. All right, so this is the definition for jackpot. A large sum of money formed by the accumulation of stakes from previous play. An impressive and often unexpected success or reward. Woo! Oh, man. Hey, hey. The Wadi Yaba Shemi Al Shai, man. Okay? We praying to get that in the end. All right, which, which ultimately, the money is this wisdom. We don't need, we don't need money. What we need money for, man? Now, of course, you got to work. You got to pay for your bills, you know? Certain brothers got kids, you know. Got paid, you know, got paid for the food, for the this and the that. That don't mean you're just supposed to neglect, you know, your family. But at the same time, it's not all about getting money here in this society. That's part of the wiles of the damn devil, right? Just, you just worried about getting money. Yeah, you you spend all day getting money, and all they got to do is press a button and print it. How do you think they gave you a stimulus check? They just fired up the press. Okay, print some money, boom, there you go. All right? So it says, And from Yahusha Mashiach, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and hath made us kings and priests unto Yahweh and his father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he cometh with clouds, which are those chariots, right? Like when you look up in the sky, you look at the, the form, the formation of the clouds, right? That's how the angels are going to come, man. It's, they're going to come in, in the thousands, in the hundreds of thousands. You're not even going to be able to, to, to see the sky. You're just going to see angels, man. Like when you watch the movie uh, Independence Day, you can't even see the sky. It's just all angels, right? And it says... Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. So that don't mean you're going to be at work, and you're going to be the one person that didn't see the Lord's return. At, at, the, at the coming of our Lord, Yahushua HaMashiach, everything is going to stop. It don't matter what you're doing, you're going to have to stop. That's why it says that every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess. You're not, you're not going to have a choice but to ultimately admit, okay, the Lord is here. All right, so let me go ahead and let me... Uh, let me get that and then I'm gonna continue on. While this is while this is loading up, I'm gonna continue. Uh, it says, so I'm gonna hold that, and every knee shall bow. Okay? It says, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. So the same people that killed our Lord are back here today through the reincarnation. Just like the same, <laughs> the same Israelites who came against our Lord, they're here today. That's why we're not surprised when people come up against this word, man. The spirit is in you to come up against this word. All right? Just like the spirit is in us to bring out his word, right? So let's get that every knee, every knee shall bow. All right? This only has about 3% on it. So uh, I'm going to have just enough time probably to bring this up. Every knee. Woo! Let's let's get all three of them. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, and verse 23. I have sworn by myself. So the Lord speaking through Isaiah, right? The word is gone out of my mouth in righteousness, it shall not return. That unto me 
Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. All right, this is the book of Romans 14 and 11. For it is written, as I live, so we serve a living power, right? saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess to how about So you're not gonna be in the kingdom of heaven lying to our Lord. It's not gonna happen, okay? This is the book, it's like it. This is the book of Philippians chapter 2 and verse I'm going to just start off at the top if there be therefore any consolation of my shot, any comfort of love any fellowship of the spirit any bowels and mercies fulfill ye my joy that ye be like minded having the same love being of one accord of one mind here O Israel our power is one our Lord is, conti our Lord is continuing to gather us together. He's gathering up the hopeful elect, all right? And everybody else is dispersing. That's, that's why you got all these people going against each other, right? It says, let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves, okay? So you don't see our elders above us say, we're, we're the greatest, we're the greatest of all time. No, they're saying that we're fellow servants, man, right? It says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Hamashiach Yahushai, right? The anointed deliverer, who, being in the form of Yahweh, thought it not robbery to be equal with Yahweh, okay? But made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant, right? Uh, which is the form of man, and was made in the likeness of men. So when you see our Lord, that's who God looks like, right? White woolly hair. Okay, with dark skin, whether you can receive that or not. Now, all the 12 tribes of Israel aren't dark skinned people, but a good majority of them uh, are quote unquote, uh, uh, quote unquote, melanated people. Now, melanin has nothing to do with this. You can have melanin and still be a heathen, you can have melanin and still be destroyed, right? But the 12 tribes of Israel, for the most part, are, are a uh, people of color. Okay, then of course. You have uh, Israelite foreigners, okay, who look like the other nations, but their line actually goes back uh, to Israel. Like you got a uh, J.J. Watt, that's an Israelite. And Tom Brady, that's an Israelite. You can you can tell by the way that he that he uh, that he carries himself, man. Plus, you're not playing football for 20 plus years if you're of the other nations. Not happening, right? He's he he is one of us. Point blank, right? It says. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbleth himself. Yeah, so he had um, he had skin, eyes, feet, whatnot, right? And became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. So he felt every last lashing. He felt every last beating. They gave him vinegar to drink, right? He felt all of that. Okay, it says, wherefore Yahweh also have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name okay as being the ultimately the deliverer and the savior of the earth through him okay because although it says in the scriptures that savior shall uh, savior shall rise up on mount zion pertaining to the uh, book of obadiah right although we are considered saviors the ultimate savior is the Hawashai Hamashiach, you know, all right, and the, well, really, it's like you're the ultimate uh, savior is Yahweh through his son, Yahweh Shai. Okay, and it says, um, what's oh, here's a reiteration Philippians 2 and 11, and that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is Lord to the glory of the power of the Father. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Yeah, man. So you have more men of the Lord now than you had back then. Okay, it says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So we can only do so much. We can't, we can't go, okay, and go out on the highways and byways for you. That's like uh, me going to your job and putting on your name badge and clocking in for you. And we can show you where to get where to get a job. We can show you, you know, the things necessary 
to get the job, to maintain the job, to learn to be better at your job. We cannot do your job, man. And that's one of the biggest points that our elders tell us. We can, we can prophesy until we blew in the face, all right? But if the spirit is on you to teach, you need to teach. If you have a certain understanding, you need to teach. And that's why we teach it, right? It says, For it is Yahweh which worketh in you, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Right? And what's his good pleasure? To bring out the good news, the gospel, which is the upliftment of the 12 tribes of Israel, right? And the bringing down of these other nations. Starting off with Esau Edom. Okay? And it says, do all things without murmurings and disputings. It's like the elder Yashawamba based out of Dallas was going into. If, if you normally teach out a spot and there's some sort of event there or you know, whatever the case is, don't worry about it. Go to another spot. There's always a place, there's always a place to go to bring out the words of the Heavenly Father. Alright? And the, and the Spirit is going to have you to go to certain places. Right? Like the other location that I was at across town, I just seen it and I was like, okay, this this is where I'm going to teach at. It was, it's just, to me, it, it, it just, Spirit had me go there, so... I've been going there, Spirit had me come over here, so now I'm over here. You don't know where the Lord is, is going to have you at. You don't know. You don't know how your day is going to go. You can wake up thinking, all right, I'm going to have spaghetti for lunch. All right, I'm going to go, I'm going to get my tire fixed. And the Lord just completely do a 360. Turn your whole day around, man. Okay, and it says, that you may be blameless and harmless. So why are you trying to consider us a domestic terrorist? Oh, because we bringing out the words of the Heavenly Father. Okay, we are saying, yes, people are going to die. That's true. But we're not doing it. The Heavenly Father's doing it. Okay? It says, that ye may be blameless and harmless. So, we're not supposed to be getting physical. Okay? This is, this is, a, this is spiritual warfare. Okay? It says, the sons of Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai. Right? So, that's where you get uh, Israel. Right? He is he is a prince with God. He is a prince of the power. It says, without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation. Woo! Which not only goes uh, to these damn devils, but also two-thirds of our own people. It says, among whom ye shine as lights in the world. So it's like when you're asleep and somebody cut the light on. You don't want you don't want the light to hit you when when, you, when your eyes are closed. You you got drool on your pillow. Come on, man. We didn't all been there. You trying to sleep, right? Especially if you don't have your rest. If you're not getting proper rest. You don't even want to be be uh, uh, woke up or anything like that, man. Okay. But it says, it's like it, and it says, holding forth the word of life, which is which is the Bible, right? That I may rejoice in the day of Hamashiach. So for most of the people, they're going to be terrified. Right? Hearts failing them of fear. Let me get that. Woo! This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, and verse 26. Men's hearts failing them for fear, which is heart attacks. All right? And for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. Yes, hey, <laughs> hey. So once you see, once you see the angels, oh, it is gonna be angels out here. It's gonna be demons out here. Apparition. That's why you got that movie Bird Box, man. I mean, you people are gonna be out here fighting demons and losing mis miserably. You can't even fight your damn demons now. Uh, multiple personality disorder, bi bipolar, all all sorts of shit, man. It's all sorts of shit out here. Okay. Hey man, hey, in the middle of the Lord got to battle demons too. Don't think we exempt. Okay. <laughs> Yet we have the guidebook to, to, to fight these damn demons. Man. Okay, it says, and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Who's the powers of heaven? You so-called elite, but you're not elite. Right? You so-called Illuminati, you're not you're not the illuminated ones. The light ain't shining on you. Ultimately, you in the dark, man. That's why you put the people in the dark because your ass is in the dark. You you are uh, you're covered in dust. That's that's why you know it, it basically talks about 
sitting down in the dust, O daughter of Edom. All right. Woo. Let's go ahead and get that real quick before this phone dies. Okay. So it says. This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 4, and verse 22. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Yes, we're about at the end of our punishment. All right, you know, we're we going through what we're going through. It is what it is. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. So us going into uh, slavery. What was that? Us going into slavery over 400 years ago. And we're still in slavery to this day, right now, as I speak, okay? It says, um, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. So ultimately, America is the last place of you 12 tribes of Israel captivity. This place ain't going to go on for 400 years. Then some other place is going to take the place of America, right? Like China wants to be the next superpower. Oh, see, all these, all these people want to be next up. Yeah, you know who's next up, okay? The, the elect of Israel who right now are the hopeful elect because we don't know who we are. All we know is that we are of the hopeful elect of Israel. Okay? It says, He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. So uh, ultimately that started off in the late 60s when your ass got caught. You got caught lying about going to the moon. You got you got caught lying about putting chemtrails in the air, putting uh, uh, hydrofluorosilicic acid in the water. Poisoning the minds of the children, poisoning the minds of the mothers, fathers, sisters, uncles, poisoning all the nations, man. They didn't just poison us, they poison all the nations, okay? Being discovered, their sins are being discovered, man, okay? And the internet was a very big factor in that. Like in the book of Daniel, it talks about how knowledge uh, shall increase, okay? We're in the point in which not. We're in the ultimate sense of knowledge. If I want to know something right now, I can look it up right now, man. Okay? Anyways, let me get that since I spoke on it. This is the book, Salakia. This is the book of Daniel chapter 12, verse 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. So now we're at the time where this, the seal is being broken on this book. We're at the point in time, right, in which we can understand the words that are being written in this book. It says, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Okay? So if, if, uh, if I'm in America, and I want to talk to somebody in Japan, all I got to do is get on the internet. There is no time zone. Right? It, it could be 2 o'clock in the morning in Germany, and it could be 8 o'clock in the morning in, uh, here right in florida and we and we're talking to each other i don't have to go and, and send, send a message and, and it being drawn by horse and carriage you know for six months no this is instant you have instant mail you have instant email that's why the newspaper is dying right when when, when a celebrity dies right you used to hear about it the next day you go to sleep you wake up and it's on the front page of the news or it may happen. The it may happen two days later, right? Pr Prince is dead, right? Michael Jackson is dead, right? That happened instantly. As soon as he died, everybody knew about it. Right? That is the power of the internet. The, inter the ultimately, the internet is biblical. Okay. So let's go. Ahead, let's get that real quick. I believe that's in the book of Daniel, also. No, Salakia, Salakia. Uh, it is in the book of Psalms. So this is the book of Psalms, chapter 92 and verse 10. But my horn shall, Salakia, but my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. Woo! So instant, that's what the spirit is, man. Right? The internet is like the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemesh. You're able to know things at an instant. If the Lord wants you to understand it, he's going to have you to understand it. Okay? I've never owned a dog a day in my life. Yet I seen a dog today. I instantly knew, okay, this, this is a, this is a, a, a golden retriever. 
You don't even think about it. It's your, that's just the spirit, right? The spirit, the spirit will have you to understand certain things, man. All right. Anyways, it says, um, "Woo, I shall be anointed with fresh oil." So just like it says in the scriptures, my cup runneth over. We got so much information. We, hey, if we didn't have to go to work, if we, <laughs> hey, if we didn't have to eat food, we could be, we could be out here all day. We could be out here for twenty four hours, three sixty five, man. Yet, hey, man, the flesh is weak. Yet the Lord has the spirit on us lately to go into overdrive, man. Okay? So anyways, going back. This, this, uh, this is about to die. All right, anywho, it says, Revelation chapter 1 and verse, uh, I believe I was at, Verse 8, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending. So our Lord, Yahweh Shai, all right, uh, was Adam. Because you already have people here on the earth during the times of Adam. But who the Lord uh, uh, basically uh, um, made from the dust of the ground and breathed his spirit into was Adam. He made Adam and then he made Eve. Man. But you already have people here upon the earth. Okay, and it says, well, just like you, hey, man, just like before you had Israel, you had the sons of righteousness, right? Which before that, they were the, uh, the, the sons of Adam. So even before the children of Israel were the children of Israel, right? They were the righteous. Okay, and it reads, hey, so that's Satan, that's the spirit, but that uh, how Adam Right? He named the animals. Right? And he built it. Ultimately, he built the world up. Right? Just like our Lord, alongside the 144,000, uh, created everything that you see. Right? From the, from the water, to the trees, to the grass, right? To the animals. So it says... I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patience of Yahweh Shabbat was in the isle that is called Patmos for the word of Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shabbat So they, instead of putting him uh, in a prison, somewhere on the mainland they put him on an island in Patmos and he was in captivity there which hey man through the spirit that's going to happen to some of us some of us are going to be um, uh, isolated they may have to when they lock you up they may have to put you separate because they understand okay he you know he's one of them he's one of the people that uh, be reading the bible he's one of them Israelites they, they're gonna and they're gonna know Cause they gonna know everything about you. They know everything about us now. They know where we live, where we go, who we interact with, where we work at. All right, that's something that they already know. It's gonna take a certain amount of time. Okay, they're gonna deem you a domestic terrorist. Then they gonna come down on you, man. It is, and it is what it, it is. What it is. That's something that you gotta ultimately. You gotta be prepared for. That's something that comes with this, man. Being marked as the face. Here it is. You got the damn devil killing everybody, and we're the faces of evil, based upon the fact that we're bringing this up, man. All right, anyways, anywho, it says, it, it, it says, and for the testimony of Yahweh Shahmashak. So let, let's get the definition for a testimony. All right, so definition for testimony, it says, uh, testimony, evidence based on observation or knowledge, an outward sign, symbol, a solemn declaration made by a witness under oath, especially in a court. So yeah, this is pending litigation on you damn devils, man. That's what we out here for. We are we are spiritually calling you out. Okay, you're about to get this, right? What you gonna plead? Not uh, not guilty, guilty. It don't matter anyways, because it's all the evidence. Look at the establishment of this damn place. Look at the upkeep of this damn place. How are they continuing to do this, man? All right by praying on these people. I'm gonna keep referring back to the sign, man. All right, let's let's get let's continue to go down. All right, Let, let's read that again. An outward sign, 
symbol. A solemn declaration made by a witness under oath, especially in a court. Woo! Right? And judicial, right? Like judicial authority. That goes back to the word Judah. Okay? In which we are we are the real authority, whether you want to admit that or not. Okay? Starting off with the elder apostles of the great millstone. Here, here right now, here upon the earth right now, continuing to teach day in and day out, despite if they back hurt. Knees hurt, headache, whatever the case is, man. They continue to teach, all right? And it says, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day, so when the Lord returned, and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. So they heard, so he heard Salakia, the voice of our Lord. It says, and what thou seest, Write in a book and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia. All right, so that in those churches, right, those seven churches, that ultimately represents a completion. You see, because those men went out and taught men, those men taught men, those men taught men, all the way up until the year 2021, in which our elder apostle, our elder apostle Tahar starting off, elder apostle Ramla, elder apostle Gabar, elder apostle Raka, right? The elders based out of there in Connecticut, so on and so forth. Okay, bringing out the words of the Heavenly Father. Okay, and it says, unto unto Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. Right. So when you're speaking about Philadelphia, right, the the city of brotherly love <laughs> here in America, that place is not the city of brotherly love. Just like it wasn't the city of brotherly love, right? When it comes to Greece and these other places. That wasn't a city of brotherly love. Yet you had you had Israel out there. Right? You had Israelite foreigners that took on the uh, uh, the customs of the Greeks. Right? Because you have Greeks and then you have Grecians. There's a very distinct difference between the two. Okay? So it says. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. So this is the image of our Lord, who was speaking to John. It says, His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like undefined brass, as if they burn in a furnace. So if you take brass and you put it in the furnace, even for 30 seconds, you know what color it's going to come out, man. So all, all the talk about our Lord having blonde hair, blue eyes, get out of here, man. All right, all the, so what you mean to say is all, all these people here on the earth, right, are going to be in the kingdom of heaven getting ruled over by little tiny babies with wings, you know, which none of the angels are women, man. All right. In fact, angels don't have sexual organs. Now, they come in the appearance of men, but they don't have sexual organs. Angels can't lay down with, 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 with man, okay, so to speak. When I say lay down with man, I mean men, uh, I mean, so like, I mean, you know, women, okay? When you say man, when you say man in that instance, you're speaking about uh, uh, women, okay? We are those fallen angels that have fallen from our estate. How do we... <laughs> How do we go from the from the ultimate example of a human being to now we're rappers, football players? What is that? What, NBA player, we're throwing a ball into a hoop. That's low level, man. What, an astrophysicist? That's low level, man. That's the, you, you're trying to understand what the Heavenly Father already has in place, man. What about prophecy? What about knowing what's to happen? What about going into the scriptures, right? Yeah, that's, that's dumb, that's boring, that's stupid. Which is all, which is really uh, all the attributes, okay, of these people. And they're, they, they're, they're boring. They're stupid. You hear some of these conversations. It's just so low level, man. You have to, you know, especially when you're when you're at work. You may be around uh, certain family members. Your uncle, your, your your uncle. You know, you're just talking about low vibration bullshit. You know. You talking about the Cardinals game, which there's nothing wrong with watching a, you know, watching a basketball game, watching a football game. But you don't need to be worried about all the stats, worried about this many yards. No, man, it's not that deep. 
Okay, anyways, it says, Salaki, it says that his voice has the sound of many waters. So if you've ever heard the ocean at night, right, especially when the wind blows, it's very violent. It's a very violent process, man. Okay? So our Lord had a very uh, deep voice. He had a very distinct voice. Okay, and it says, and he had in his right hand seven stars, which those seven stars are a complete amount of uh, men, women, and children, man, which it which goes into the one-thirds. That's the elect. And then you have the 144,000, which are 12,000 men out of each tribe, right, who are set up to be the, uh, the governmental power of the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay, and it says... And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword. And what is that? That's the New Testament. That's the that's the Old Testament. It's like you. The Old Testament and the New Testament. See, because our Lord knew all these words that are in this book verbatim. That's why as the Pharisees, Sadducees, they're trying to debate him. A lot of times he didn't even need a Bible. He would just quote it off the top of the head because he is the word, man. Alright? How you gonna how you gonna debate with somebody who is the word? And so it's a waste of time. Okay, it says it says that his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. So you cannot directly look at the sun. Even if you even if you look at the sun for two seconds, your eyes are just they're hurt, man. So you had certain people that couldn't even look at our Lord, man. A certain spirit came upon them. Where if they looked at our Lord, they would freak out. That happens to us, man. Certain people they just look, they just look at us, they start tripping. They may they may just be assholes for no reason. Here it is, you just, you know, you go in to buy a bottle of water from the store, you just have people just staring at you. Just for no reason. You don't even have a damn garment on, right? You, you just you just there, right? They can see the spirit that's on you, man. Alright? And it says. And he had in his right hand seven stars. Let me go down. It says that when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying, Unto me, fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. I have the keys of hell and of death. So ultimately, he can manipulate the elements, man. Right? Hell being a condition. Right and death uh, ultimately being a result of, of being here. At one at one point, man, Adam was good, all the way up until Adam and Eve sinned. Oh, they were good, man. They were ultimately they were supposed to live forever. But what did they do? They went off. Now we in this position that we in, back hurting, neck hurting, right? Yet in the kingdom of heaven, we gonna be perfect, right? Lord's will, we're the children, of, we're the children of Israel, which through the Spirit we know that we're the children of Israel, man. Right, you twelve tribes of Israel. We we know that. We know that for a fact. All right, and on, only the twelve tribes of Israel are going to have the perfect bodies, right, and have the laws written in their inward parts. Just like it says in the book of Romans, right, how the laws pertain to the children of Israel. This is for a, this is for a very small. This book is for a very small percentage of people to understand. Yet a lot of people are going to benefit. From, uh, from this book, right? Like you other nations, you're gonna be eating uh, clean. You're gonna be eating clean food. Everybody outside of Esau Edom. Now Esau Edom is done, right? A thousand years of slavery, and then you're done away with, pertaining to the Book of Obadiah, man. Okay. But you other nations, man, you gonna be after that thousand years, you gonna be relatively all right. There's gonna be certain people that are still gonna be going off. They're still gonna be sinning. They're gonna be dealt with according to the law. You know. But you're gonna have a good bit of them that are just gonna be in line, man. Right? They're gonna live, they're gonna pass, they're gonna pass away, uh, and live on uh, through through their generations, through their seed. Right? Like you got one orange, you got one orange tree from a hundred years ago that dropped its seeds. Those those seeds turned into a tree. Then those, then that tree died, those seeds turned into a tree, so on and so forth. That's how it's gonna be in the kingdom of heaven for you other nations. Okay? And the kingdom of heaven is going to be manifested here upon the earth, in the in the land of Israel. Then you're going to have, you know, uh, uh, the land of Moab is going to belong to Moab, Ishmael, so on and so forth. So it's just like um, how it was supposed to be. It says, 
right salakia write the things which thou hast seen and the things which are and the things which shall be here shall be hereafter so the, the mystery is about to be explained as far as who the churches are because the ch see churches isn't a physical building it's men right that's why it says in the scriptures how uh, the Lord uh, basically dwells in, in a church not made with hands speaking about the men Okay, so it says, the mystery of the seven stars, which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. <clears throat> the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, which an angel means a messenger, right? Like you got a left-handed angel, and you got a right-handed angel, right? You got uh, these quote-unquote elite, those are left-handed angels. You got these uh, different uh, directors of movies, that's a left-handed angel. Hey, well, when you direct the movie, right, what are you doing? Well, ultimately, that's witchcraft, okay? They, you put this car right here. This person says this at this time, right? They're creating an image. These different TV shows, that's why they poison the mind of these people. They got they got you. Uh, uh, they, they got you. They got you exactly where they want you, man. All right? Anyways, it says... And the seven candlesticks, which thou sawest, are the seven churches, which was those groups of men. Now each, now each church had something that they were doing wrong. Which once again, <laughs> hey, not perfect, right? You're not, you're not gonna say things perfect. Sometimes you may stutter, you know. The Lord, the Lord is dealing with imperfect men and bringing out a perfect word, man. All right. And it reads. Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write, These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. So the reason for <clears throat> the reason for the Heavenly Father sending his son was to personally teach the men that were eventually to teach us in the year 2021, right? <clears throat> Over 2,000 years ago. It says, I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. Yes, we can't stand you damn devils. I, hey, man, there's sometimes I don't even want to look at you damn devils. Yet, that's what we got to do. Hey, just like our Lord, man. Okay, our, our Lord, our Lord wasn't nice to you damn devils. Or you other nations, man. He let you know what it is. That's what we got to let you know. We're coming in the same, we're coming in that same lane. We're coming in the same stead of our Lord. We, know we can't sugarcoat it, water it down. Okay, you don't water it down when it comes to your agenda, right? If, if, I, if I don't support same-sex marriage, I could possibly lose my job, all sorts of shit, man, right? All, all for standing up for something, especially my job. Oh, oh my goodness, man. If I was to say, oh, I, I don't support same-sex marriage, oh, my ass is out of there, man. <laughs> Point blank, because they're all about equality. Hey, where is the equality for the 12 tribes of Israel? What's that about, man? Anywho. All right, let's get back to it. It says, I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience. So the work that we're doing, right? And this is a labor. Hey, man, and we haven't been doing this 30, 40 years like our elders. You had you had elders at 70, 75 years old going out and teaching, man. Right? High, uh, high priest Abba Bivens, he died doing the work. Right? That's, that's, a, that's beautiful. He died doing the work. He died doing what he loved, man. Right? So it says, And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and hast found them liars. Uh, T.D. Uh, T. Jakes, Joel, <laughs> Joel Olstein, all these other guys, man. They trying you. Here it is. He won't even open up his church when there's a flood. Yet this is supposed to be a man of the Lord. He got on $5,000 shoes, you know driving a, the newest car, got the biggest house on, on, on the on the block. It's not a man of the Lord, man. Point blank. Okay? It says, and has borne and has patience, and for thy name, and slack it. And for my name's sake, has labored and has not fainted. Woo! Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> the Lord, hey, man, the Lord don't find us, oh yeah, he's just absolutely great. No, we still got a lot of work to do. 
we, we fell away from our grace. We fell away from our first estate, right? It says, Nevertheless, it's like, remember therefore from whence thou art fallen. So what, uh, at the beginning of this chapter, what did he call, right, the men? He called them angels, right? So we are the fallen angels. We are the people that fell from their estate, right? And it says in the scriptures, how the fallen angels had, found, uh, had, uh, had, had met the women of the other nations and found them to be fair, right? So when a when an Israelite man lays with a Moabite woman, that creates an Israelite child, okay? Because you uh, you are what your father is, okay? Uh, pertaining to the book of Numbers, right? The house of the fathers. When a when a woman gets married, you don't take on her last name. She takes on your last name. When you have kids, they take the father's last name. Now, how you ultimately how you know we're done here? You got some of these women. They they want their last name and they want the man's last name. That's horrible. Okay, that's how you know your ass is in captivity. Your woman can't even she can't even drop off her last name. She she want your last name and her last name. All right. And your hey hey your wife. Your wife is supposed to be your property, man. What's that about? Yet yeah, that is not the case, especially here in America. At least, you know, if you go to certain places internationally, you may you may have a, you know, quote unquote decent woman. But any Americanized woman here in America is toast, man. All right, even our even our women, we love our brothers more than we love our women. Okay, whether you want to receive that or not. You know, you see here, you know, you what you know, your woman. Yeah, some some of them may be okay. They may be cool. Ultimately, they don't have that. Under, they don't have that understanding. The understanding of these scriptures, man. All right, your bro, you, you, hey man, you pray for your brothers. You pray for your hey. If your if, if your brother is sick, you pray for your brother. Hey, I, I pray he gets sick. You know, if your woman is sick, you like hey. You know, you may throw up a prayer, but you you, you ultimately you're not that worried about it, man. We we are worried about the brothers. Man. Right, the men that are pushing this word. That's your true family. Now, you have, um, you got uh, relatives, right? Like your mother, your, your your father, your sister, brother. But your true family is the hopeful elect. That's why our Lord said that, right? His family was looking for him because he was out teaching, and he pointed he pointed to the fellow. He pointed to uh, uh, basically his friends, right? Who at first were servants, and he pointed and said, "This is my mother." This is my sister. This is my brother, roughly paraphrasing. Okay? <clears throat> so you don't get caught up. If your grandmama don't want you teaching the word, you, you forget what she's talking about. You better teach the word anyways, man. Because the Lord, the Lord can put you to death and put your grandmama to death. Or put your grandmama to death and put you to death. Or put both of y'all to death simultaneously, man. It don't matter. This is the Lord we're talking about. We're not talking about no, 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 no sweet, you know what I mean? sweet power we're talking about the the, the we're talking about a, a, a terrible power we're talking about a, a power that can cover you in boils we're talking about a, a power that can give you aids man that's horrible that's horrible you got an uh, autoimmune deficiency you know one person sneeze on you two days later you're just dead man that's the lord doing that okay and it says um, Slakia. It says, remember therefore from whence thou art fallen and repent and do the first works. So once again, uh, repent means to come back. So come back to the Heavenly Father and do the first works. You had King Solomon, richest man on earth, putting on a garment and prophesying, man. Right? You had King David prophesying. You had all you had all the different kings, all the highly esteemed men. They would they would put on the garment and they would prophesy. That was part of it. Right? Okay, and it says, or else I will come unto thee quickly. So once again, the Lord is just gonna send an angel. Okay, go and kill him. Alright, it's done. Before it, before the words are even uttered, the angel done already done it, man. Because the Lord puts the spirit instantly. Right? Like when you get an internet connection, that's instant. You're typing words on a keyboard, that's instant. You are instantly doing that. That's why they call it instant messaging. Right? The Lord is the ultimate instant messenger. He says to do something, and it happens. All right? It happens in the heavens first, then it's manifested here upon the earth. 
Okay, and it says, it says, or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. So yeah, we want to keep this fire upon us. Hey man, because the Lord can take the spirit from me and put it on and put it on another man. We don't want that. That's why King David said, take not thy Holy Spirit away from me. You know, we don't want the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shai to leave us. So it's just like a woman. If, hey, if you, if you are a poor woman, let's say you have no money and you meet a very rich man, you're going to do whatever it takes. Right? You're going to leave with him. You're going to do what he, that's us through the spirit. We are, we are like unto a poor bride. Right? But we are, we are basically poor. We are homeless. Okay? And we're asking for the Lord to basically pick us up. Okay? Pick us up, wash us all, you know, and to beautify us. All right, that's what we're asking for. Okay, so it says, and that's why we're considered like unto brides, man. So it says, or else I will come unto thee quickly, right? It says, except thou repent. But this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. So yeah, it's, it's okay to hate. Lord hates. That's completely fine, man. Okay, it says, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of Yahweh Shai. Woo! We're just gonna be here upon the earth, man. The earth is going to be made perfect. Hey, there are many, there are many beautiful uh parts of the earth, man. I, hey, I haven't been to nowhere outside of America besides Canada. But you got very beautiful parts of the earth. Okay, so it's, hey, and all these different beautiful parts of the earth, that's where these so-called elite, that's where they got their deep underground military bunkers. They got they got submarines, submarine licenses, all, all sorts of stuff, right? Uh, quote, unquote, nuclear neutral zones like uh, New Zealand. That's why the COV-19, that's why you don't see it in New Zealand. They're trying to keep it out of there, man. That's where they're trying to go. Right? Different forests. Different deep underground military bunkers. Uh, uh, what do you call that? The uh, uh, the Denver Airport. That's a big-ass bunker. Okay? And it says... And unto the angel of the church in Smyrna write... These things saith the first and the last, our Lord, which was dead and is alive. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. So although we're poor, through the Spirit we're rich, right? Now, uh, certain, bro certain brothers have a little bit more money than others, you know? Like you got an elder uh, in the Dallas camp, I believe he... Uh, I believe he's like a dentist or something like that. So he makes a you know a pretty good amount of money. But that's just the Lord blessing him, right? You know, you got you got brothers who work at you know a gas station. <laughs> and I, I mean, it all depends. The Lord is calling people from all walks of life uh, uh, to deliver His message unto the twelve tribes of Israel, referring back to that sign. Okay, it says, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not but are the synagogue of Satan. So, so whoa, whoa, hold up. It's saying currently that the, that whoever's saying that they are the Jews, they are not, all right? But they are the synagogue of Satan. Uh, talking about uh, Amalek, the chief house of Esau, Edom. All right, so let's, let's, get, um, let's get the definition for blasphemy. Because remember, the only sin that is not, um, that is not uh, for, uh, forgivable is blasphemy, all right? Which ultimately they can't sin, they're just the wicked. Okay, so this is uh the definition for blasphemy. Woo! The act of expression uh slack, the act of expressing lack of reverence for God. Irreverence towards something considered sacred. So if you have the spiritual demon Satan in you, you are an Edomite. That's what you're considered. 
right? Ultimately, the nation of Esau Edom is all the people that have the spiritual demon Satan within them. Like Cain, Cain, Cain had the spiritual demon Satan within him, right? Back then you had Cain and Abel, okay? Then you had Jacob and Esau, point blank. see the movie Troy? All right. Troy, everybody see the movie Troy? You know, kill all right, the guy in the background talking about the Troy. How, how the hell was Troy established? Through rape, robbery, and murder, man. Okay, so we're going to continue. We're going to continue to reiterate that that all these noble, high uh, places of society, in order for these places to be erected, people had to be put to death. In order for America to be established, millions, hundreds of millions of people had to be killed, man. Okay. Anyways, it says. Verse 10, I'm gonna just uh, speak it out again. Revelation chapter two and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, which hey, if you gotta go for this word's sake, hey, it is what it is. And they got the Patriot Act, they got the, uh, which is the NDAA Act, essentially. They got all these different, <laughs> here, here it is, this damn devil talking about he a Patriot. He done, he done stole a whole, he done stole a whole land. He done stole all of North America and everything abroad. And he want to talk about he a patriot. Hey, let, let's get let's get the definition of a patriot. Okay. I was actually All right. So this is the definition for a patriot. It says one who loves his or her country. Uh, etymology. Middle French patriote, compatriot from Latin, patriota from Greek, patriotis from patria, lineage. Woo! From pater, father. Woo! So we the real patriots, man. All right, we're we're saying the A, man. Our heaven, our heavenly Father. All right, which dealt expressly, okay, with Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, has taught us. We, you know, through the Spirit, we were taught by the Son of God, okay? Through our elders, okay? And it says, woo, oh, here we go. It says, that they may be tried. Hey, so if you got to sit down, it is what it is, man. Now, hey, me personally, I've never been to prison. Certain brothers have been to prison. I've never been to prison, but hey, it may happen. You never know, man. The Lord may, the Lord may, 